Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Today I am gonna unbox the December fairy loot box. Here it is, yay! And I think it arrived earlier this month. I was way too late ordering the November box, so I missed that one unfortunately, and I mean it was gonna be such an amazing box. I've seen the unboxings on other people's channel and Oh, I'm so sad that I didn't get it, but that's why I took a three-month subscription So I won't be missing out any of the boxes anymore. The theme of this month is it's so regal, regal I don't know how to pronounce it. I don't even know what that means I know it had like a very wintry drawing on it as well And I know that there was gonna be a Funko in this box so I'm really really excited So it means like from a kingdom or something like that Okay, so let's open the box and see what goodies are inside of here and the book because I have absolutely no idea what book is going to be in here, which I actually really like. I initially wanted to only buy the fairy loot boxes when I would know what book was going to be inside, but I kind of let go of that and, you know, it's going to be a surprise right now, which is also a lot of fun. ta -da! So I don't think anything has- Well, I already- I don't want to see what kind of Funko it is. So here is the Oso Regal Regal- Sorry guys, don't know how, pro how to pronounce this, but they're- monthly card and I really love the artwork. I'm not gonna look at the spoilers which are on the card right here but I'm just gonna grab some items. So I think the Funko is gonna be Disney themed so oh oh that's so cute. I got the Simba Funko but it's been such a long time since I watched The Lion King so it's really bad you guys. I should definitely rewatch it. Um, I don't know if you would have gotten a Funko from this line but I might have to see, uh, I might have to like look at other unboxings to see that, but oh my god, it's so cute. Right now I absolutely need to re-watch The Lion King. I think it literally has been 10 years since I watched the movie, so every time that someone makes a reference about The Lion King, I'm always like, don't know what you're talking about. I was thinking that they were gonna put like Frozen uh, Funkos in here, especially because of this artwork. I mean, this totally looks like Elsa or something. Next up, ooh, a little candle, and I don't know this. Oh, you all, I, oh, you all. This is from A Court of Candles, and it's called Prince Adam. So this is from Beauty and the Beast. Oh, it's supposed to smell like enchanted rose, sandalwood, and I'm not a fan of rose, so I hope that I will like this scent, but oh, I love Beauty and the Beast. For who could ever learn to love a beast? Let's smell it and hopefully it, I like it. Ooh, the color is very interesting. I love it. Mm. Okay, it's, it's not really my kind of scent, I'd say. It's not bad, it's just something about it is not 100% my thing. I definitely have candles that smell worse, um, but it's just very florally and especially when it smells like rose or lavender, it's not really my thing. I like it, but I mean, I definitely love other candles better, but the packaging and everything looks so good. Oh, I think this is like a pouch or something. <gasps> yes, so it says, okay, victuous and fair, royal and gracious, and it's a quote by William Shakespeare, and because I live in the Netherlands, we've never had to read something from William Shakespeare, but it is a really a nice pouch. It does feel a little, like, it doesn't feel very thick, if you know what I mean, but it looks very pretty purple on the inside, and I really do like the design, and I feel like this is from someone who has made, uh, who Fairyloot has collaborated with in the past before, but I can't put my finger on that person. Next up, I see <laughs> a bookmark, which is for, oh wow, that cover looks really pretty, for Warstorm, War, War Storm, Jesus, which is the fourth book in the Red Queen Quartet, I think? A Storm is Coming, pre-order now, 15th of March, 2018. I've only read Red Queen, and at the time that I read it, I really enjoyed it, but I am definitely not gonna continue on with the series, it's just, just, it's not exciting enough for me to continue with it. Then I have a little notepad, and to be quite honest, I really love notepads, but I'm kind of over getting them in boxes, uh, but it looks really pretty. It says, to look powerful is to be powerful, which is a quote from Victoria Aveyard, and because of the colors, I'm gonna say this is a darker shade of magic inspired. Not too sure though, but A Darker Shade of Magic was one of my favorite books of this year. It's a notebook. I used to really love getting notebooks, but right now I'm just like, it's okay to get a notebook. I don't know. Next up, ooh, what this is? Okay, so this is like a chapter sampler. 
of Rosemarked by Livia Blackburn, or it's a chapter sampler, yeah. I think that I've seen this cover on Goodreads or just booktube in general uh, somewhere, but I don't know, I think it's a good book. Oh, okay, oh no, okay. So I have one last thing before the book, and this is a really cute keychain. It says books rule, oh my god, that's adorable. I do have to say, that the goodies in this box are I think my least favorite that I've had until so far um, but I think that they cannot incorporate that many goodies anymore because they put a Funko in there which is probably worth around like 15 euros which is a lot um, I mean I like the items I'm just not that like overly happy but this keychain I really really like books rule oh I am really really happy with this one so Yay. Those are all the goodies. Right now, let's get the book. And I have no clue what it's gonna be. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab it out of here and we will see what book it is. What is this? Oh my God, Everless by Sarah Holland. I think, I think I've seen this on Goodreads. Did I add it to my to read list? So before I'm gonna read the synopsis, I think that this is about your blood being you can control time with it or blood is money time is power desire is tre treachery welcome to everless i think i have added this to my to be read on goodreads but right now i need to check i added it to my to read list guide but this is just a different cover i think that first of all this is the uk version which to be honest i prefer this cover which is on goodreads i don't know if you can see that but i think this one looks cooler um but still Ooh, the inside is really, really pretty, and it's right under the dust jacket. So, in the land of Sempra, the rich control everything, even time. Ever since the age of alchemy and sorcery, hours, days, and years have been extracted from blood and bound to iron coins. The rich live for centuries, the poor bleed themselves dry. Jules and her father are behind on their rent and low on hours. To stop him from draining himself to clear their depths, Jules takes a job at Everless, the grand estate of the cruel Girling family. There, Jules encounters danger and temptation in the guise of the Girling heir, Rowan, who is soon to be married. But the web of secrets at Everless stretches beyond her desire, and the truths she must uncover will change her life forever and possibly the future of time itself. So, oh my god, the synopsis sounds so, so cool. So I'm very excited to pick this one up because... Obviously, I've already added this book, I think a couple of months ago on my to be read. Yeah, the 27th of July. So excited to read this. It's a little unfortunate that they have the UK cover, but I mean, Fairy Loot is a UK based company, but I should not look at the cover. I should look at the story and I think it's gonna be really awesome. To be honest, like I have said in this video, this is my least favorite Fairy Loot box that I've received until so far. Uh, just because it's a little unfortunate that I got a Funko that I don't really know like the story about that much I s still think it looks really cute, but I would have loved Ariel or Rapunzel um, And also the candle is not my most favorite scent and just the items are overall just a little like Okay, I, they have definitely featured more awesome things in their boxes before so I hope that next month in January Talk Fairy to me will be even more awesome because this was just like an okay box, you know, but I have paid 40 euros for it and I would have wished to get more unique items to be honest. Hopefully you don't think that I am someone who's whining a lot right now because I still enjoyed it, but it was just definitely my least favorite until so far. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this box. If you are subscribed to Fairy Loot, I would love to talk about that. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. You guys can also follow me on all of my different social media pages. Of course, I have Goodreads, Instagram, Snapchat, plus I also have an email address. If you guys want to do anything with that, links to my social media pages will be in the description down below as well. Again, thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! It features a stunning quote from Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. I read, I read someone else's name. I read V.E. Schwab, I think, in my head, but I might have just said Victoria Aveyard, but <laughs> I'm stupid.